Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We here with Mr. Slugfast and Mr. Ronnie Brown. This is the interview for the two th for the 2013 February the 16th race. And I guess we're going to ask these guys a couple of questions and see how they uh, fare. And we're going to start off with the obvious question that everybody wants to know, guys. Why are you guys uni uniting? Mr. Brown, can you uh, enlighten us on that? Well, Dolly, um, the thing is uh, me and Mr. Carkey at Slug Fix, we got the same thing in common. Small tire racing, 28s and 29s. So we're just going to bring it together, make it big and better for everybody. Get a fan something to enjoy. Okay, Mr. Slugfest, uh, let's hear your uh, reason why you guys are uniting. I agree with him. The reason why we, you know, we both like to give, not just for the racers, we like for the spectators to be able to come in, have a good show, give them a good show, a great time, and just have everybody come together. Like you said, we both had the same vision to do the same thing, so we decided, hey, what the hell? Let's do it together. is why 28s instead of 29s well for a lot of reasons actually the economy <laughs> got a lot to do with it the 29 guys that we gonna do we don't have enough the 29 guys they're fast they 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 come up with these these dirt bike tires with all these little grips and knobs in them i don't know what mickey thompson coming up with on these tires they coming up with all this fancy for nageling stuff or whatever and uh these guys they got it down packed they got so much data for a 29 and a 315 so we decided what the hell let's put them on a 275 and a 28 and let them you know let them work that damn computer you know everybody everybody wants to go out grab a tune-up that's already in the box let's go in here and go in there you got to work that computer grab that box Look to see what the uh, temperature is outside. Look to see what your tire pressure is. It's an even game, then. We're going to even the score. We're going to make these guys come work for their money instead of just going out there. They know what they can run. Ain't no more of that. When they come in with me and running, it's going to be a big show. Point blank. Well, there it is, y'all. You heard it from Mr. Slugfest himself. Well, Ronnie, I guess we're going to ask the same question to you. Why 28s instead of 29? Over 29. Well, my thing is, I just did a race with 28s and 29s, and the field was full with 28s. So I want them to see who the real tuner is. And the real tuner is, when them guys get on 28s, then they got the tune. They ain't just going down the track no more. You got to have your tuner there, and I want to see. Okay, so if if uh, if some of our Grudge fans say that 29s require some tuning too, uh, what do you guys got to say about that? Well, you're right. It's going to take a little tuning, but now you got to really tune because you're on a small tire. You got to change your car around. You got to learn something. And right now, you ain't got a lot of time to try to get on them 28s and come and get this money. Well, there it is. You, what do you think about that? Well, you're right. It's going to take some tuning. So what you do, you put in your, you call comp your car. You get your big nitrous kit, put it in. Call UPR, get your best suspension, put it on. Come in front of everybody, excuse me, stand that shit up in the air, slam it down, tell all your friends how fast that shit could have went. Then turn right back around, tell everybody, oh, man, if I, if I had a made it, 
we don't want that. So now, call VP, tell VP you need a little fuel. Call company, call back, tell them to send you that progressive. Call Davis Traction Control, tell them to send you something there to keep the wheelies out of the air. Keep your wheels out of the air. Call these people, use them, but you better get them fast because February the 16th will be here real soon. Okay, there it is. Speaking of February the 16th, uh, guys, can, since we uh, talked a little bit about 28th at this race, can you tell me in the grudge world uh, about this two, uh, February the 16th race that's coming up? I guess we'll start with you, Mr. Brown. Well, February the 16th, we got uh, 28 on G-Body, anything power added, no willy bars, 28-inch tires. Also, we got that truck coming back. Everybody trying to put that truck together, but I'm going to show them how to put it together. Anything any power added stock suspension on 28s trucks too you mean the s10 so this not the s10 tell us a little bit about what truck you're talking about no s10 small trucks so all small all small trucks ford ranger Datsun, s10 trucks small trucks Okay. Not this time. Any truck. As long as it's a small truck on 28s. All right, there you go. And you, what do you say about that, Mr. Carkey? Mr. Slugfest, sir. Let's sum it up. Go out across the field. Get your little dump truck, your little mini truck. You know, the little shit you take out to feed the cows. All that old stuff. They always talking about a dang little truck. You know, I when you say truck, I'm thinking about something to go haul my car to the racetrack. But... Bring your little mini trucks, your little dump trucks, your little micro minis, whatever you said. Pick that shit up, slam it down, whatever you want. Come race. That's all we care. Put your motor in it. Bring your Datsun B200, whatever that is, that smoking, you know, just come smoke with it. You know, that's all they do anyway. Smoke down the track and dump shit all over the track. Hey, well, you got to sweep up anyway. He loved them trucks. I, I bump a truck. But come out there and show me that you can have fun, too. There it is. Y'all heard it from Miss Slugfest. Who all coming to this race, Ronnie? This uh, February the 16th race, uh, 2013, at uh, South Georgia Motorsports Park. Uh, I know you got some names of some guys that's supposed to be showing up. It's a lot of lock-in races we heard on the board. Can you tell us some of the people that might be showing up for this event? Well, right now, I really don't want to um, – can't get into the name calling right now because uh, I really don't have a – uh, guarantee that the people are gonna come, so I don't want to call some names and then they don't show and then they got certain fans coming to this race just to see them. But you know me, I'm gonna have them G bodies there, and it's gonna be a good race. No doubt about that. And I heard it's gonna be uh, Grudge fans some surprises coming up between a couple of heavy hitters that's supposed to be there on the 16th. I can't mention anything about it right now. But it's coming. So if you're not going to be there, you're going to miss a treat that that you will not see probably anywhere else. So make sure you guys uh, get a chance to make it out there. Let me just say this, all right? You know my backbone is G-Body. I'm going to push that, and I'm going to make sure the fans get what they want to see. I'm going to have the baddest G-Bodies there. I proved it to, to you before. I'm going to make them bad as G-Body was on 29. We're going so fast. I got them coming on 28. But I got a couple races in front of me, so I don't want to call no names out saying they're going to be there. But if they everything go well, trust me, this is going to be a good one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is shaping up to be a race that y'all ain't going to want to miss. A couple, couple of guys, though, I want to ask you two about, and I guess I'm going to start with the one and only. Mr. Tony Bynes, and I guess I'll start with you this time, Mr. Slugfest. What do you think about Mr. Tony Bynes? I think 
Tony Bynes is a hell of a racer. Tony has had a great year. Tony has won a lot of races. He's lost just a few, just a few. The man, he deserves the name Boss. I have to give him credit. The man, hell, the man will come there with a variety of cars. Tony Bynes is the only man I know that can show up at the racetrack with 20 cars and race pro mods, uh, <laughs> 10 5, 28s, 29, 6070, 850, 1260. He don't care. This this guy, he, he don't have it. There's no specific style for Tony Bynes. The man has no style. He's just, if you want to do something, hey, I'm here. You want to do something? And he had this crew that he has. He he got Jamie with him. He got Cowboy. Jamie is the calm, collector dude that's going to talk trash, but Cowboys want to go get you out of your game. And these guys, like I said, they have no particular style. You don't know what to look for for these guys. But now, come February 16th, Tony, you better bring a truckload of cars. Hell, Tony is the only man racing that comes in the track with a dump truck trailer a, a, a 55-foot trailer that with cars on it. Have you ever seen anyone else do this man? Has a yeah, we've seen that trailer with nothing but cars on it, and you think, oh man, Tony bring three or four cars. You look behind him, cowboy driving a truck with four or five cars. <laughs> Jamie comes in. These guys are very competitive. I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys do for 2013, and it's all gonna start. February the 16th, South Georgia Motorsports. 28's gone wild. There it is, y'all. There it is. Uh, Tony Tony Bynes is a bad man. Everybody know that. And that's the reason why he's always uh, grudge race of the year. But there are some guys uh, that's supposed to be coming after the crown, so they say, uh, this particular year. So it's going to be an interesting year anyway to see if they can compete with the man, Tony Bynes. Uh, uh, Ronnie, I guess I want to hear in the grudge world. Want to hear what you think about Mr. Tony Bynes? Well, I say Tony Bynes good for the grudge race because he always gonna bring a show. He always gonna give you action, so you ain't gonna never come to no shows and don't see no races because he gonna find somebody to race if it's in his favor or odds against him. There it is, y'all. Y'all heard it from Mr. Slugfest and Mr. Ronnie Brown himself. A couple other questions that I wrote down that I'm going to have to gaze at, guys, to make sure. The next man that uh, I think uh, deserves a lot of credit and, and would like to hear you guys is, uh, uh, take on, on this particular uh, name, and that name is Big Low. Mr. Big Low. Well, I think a lot of Big Low. You know, if 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 I could change a lot of things about myself, I'd change one thing about myself for Big Low. My eyes. I would love to have those hazel eyes. You know, actually, I would like to have Big Low eyes. Um, some like Jericho's speech. I like to talk like Jericho. I like for my hair to be like Mike Hill and DJ Grant. And uh, I like to walk like Crew Chief, you know. You know, I like that. So I like Big Low. I think Big Low is great for the game. This guy, you can beat him, you can lose to him, whatever. And the man always got a smile on his face. But I don't, come February the 16th, I think Low's coming for blood because. The year is starting off. It's time for Lowe to come show these guys that he's really – we know he's competitive, but it's time to make take the competitiveness and just make straight competition with it. And I think he's ready. Well, there you have it from the Slugfest side. Mr. Ronnie Brown, the man. You know him well now. He's been to several of your events. Mr. Big Low, what do you think about Mr. Big Low? See, it's not fair for me because, see – That's your boy. That's my boy. <laughs> So, you know, I'm going to have good things to say about it, you know. So, I look at it like this, uh, 2013, 
Big Low got a big swag. So G bodies on 28s. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, it's gonna be rough. Well, there it is. You heard it from Mr. Brownie Brown too. Now I got one other name for you guys, and I saved him for for last because of what he did in 2012. The man went for. I have several videos of of, uh, of this particular racer. And I pause for a minute because I'm going to show those clips to you. Blowing the tires off. Blowing the motor carburetors off of it. Doing a lot of things. Getting that car right. But now that he got it right. He done whooped a whole lot of ass in 2012. Oh, and I think y'all probably getting who I'm coming to and the name happens to be the white boys with the black Monte Carlo tell me what you Monte think Carlo. about Monte Carlo <laughs> tell us what you think Miss. you know what? I'm gonna start with you Mr. Brown can you tell us what you think about the white boys well I got a lot of respect for Phil and the white boys because I saw them when they first got that car what they had to do I never thought they were gonna get it right but they proved me wrong 2012 they was another Tony Bynes. Go to the track. They got their tune-up right. They got their crew right. And all they were thinking about was them pots. They ain't let nobody get in their way to block that pot. They made sure they got that money first. And then after that, it was some ass kicking. Come on. So I got a lot of respect for Phil. A lot. A lot. Because they really learned that car. And they got that car out then real good. It's going to take a good person in 2013 to whoop them. Like you asked me a few minutes ago, Big Low is my boy. I told Big Low, look, I know you got your swag on. Boy, look at here. <laughs> White boys. You know what I told you in Braden and Low. White boys is bad. That's the second time they came around you. This your homeboy Ronnie telling you, get your swag like you told me. Do what you do. It is. You heard it from Mr. Ronnie Brown. Mr. Slugfest, the white boy. Now, I know, I know a lot of guys are coming after the white boy for 2013. I know some heavy hitters and some surprises may be even on February the 16th. So, y'all better show up because he might see, get a chance to see something. But I want to know, in the grudge world, I want to know, what do you think about Phil and the white boys? I got a couple of things about him. First of all, they cheat. These boys cheat. You cannot leave the tree and throw all these damn flames over here in the other lane. In these people's way where they can't see. You know, actually, Lincoln welders are making a new helmet for people who race the white boys to keep the flames out of their eyes. And uh, I tell you, now I have to give Phil credit for one thing. You know... Stevie Jackson is on uh, witness protection. Did, everybody, did you know this? No, I didn't know that. Tell us about it. Stevie Jackson, the last time I will not call Lethal Weapon's name. You just did. Oh. <laughs> um, sorry. He just did, ladies and gentlemen. Take that, part, take that part out. But uh, he told me when I saw him in South Georgia, he's a car key, when I see those white boys again, I'm um, Cutting they ass, I promise you. Bet your house no. That's what he told me. They told me down in Bradenton. Since Bradenton, now I'm gonna tell you what happened now. Since Bradenton, no one has heard from Stevie Jackson. I heard he was li living with a, a, a Amish cult now, <laughs> on, under witness protection. They said at the three thirty. At the 3.30 in Bradenton, the GBI had to take him out of the doggone track so they can try to find Stevie Jackson. Stevie Jackson, one of the best tuners out there. 
you gotta think about it. Stevie Jackson is a bad man. I love Stevie. I got Stevie Jackson socks on right now. I'm talking about my kid. I got her Stevie Jackson pajamas with the piranha on them and stuff, you know. But I got a lot of respect for him. But Phil tore his ass up this year. I'm just going to go on and tell you. They couldn't stop him. The man bad. But the only thing I don't like about the white boys, I will tell you this, and I'm going to make it brief. Those boys are bad for racing. It costs too much to have the white boys to the track. What do you mean by that, Car Key? Tell, tell us what you mean by that. You got to bring in extra security. You got to bring in the fire department, fire them long 20-foot-ass flames. You got to have the damn, hell, you got to have a DEA, a, the GBIs, to put these people on a witness protection because the cops are there to get statements for all the raping they doing to these people. And then you got to do extra tech because you can't have an oil leak. You can't have a gas leak when you race them. Or it's going to be a damn, hell, like a jet car going down the track. So these guys, man, then you got to have some psychiatrists there for somebody. Got to have somebody to talk to after they finish. With these little stick men, you sleep at night, see these little stick men and shit, you know. But I give, I give the guys credit. They did a great job. Hands down, they one of the baddest G-bodies for 2012. And that little shit you said, Phil, about giving me the back tie, I promise you, I'm going to your ass. But uh, good luck, good, good job, guys. Y'all did a great job, excellent. So I can't say nothing but get them guys props, the thumbs. Yeah, we all gotta admit that the Phil and the White Boys for 2012, and I guess I gotta say it, I think they should be G body uh, uh, champ of the year. They did their thing in 2012, but we're no longer in 2012. The little, little you don't cool like thirty. <laughs> no, he my buddy, but I don't like him. You know. What you call him little lucky charms guy. Yeah, one of my lucky videos. Charm. You know he, he's a uh, actually he's a professional uh, midget wrestler, for um somewhere over the seas where he's from Kuwait, somewhere Dubai, wherever he's from. I don't know where he's from, but um uh, I don't know. I might have to take that one out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Well. Is it safe to say that, Mr. Ronnie Brown, that you think uh, the G-Body champ for 2012 might have been the uh, white boys? Is that, would that be a safe assumption uh, coming from you anyway, your 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 take on that? Well, for me, hands down, because uh, I've been following all the G-Body sh shootouts, and they've been winning them all. So, hey, how can you not give it to him? There it is. You heard it from Ronnie Brown. Mr. Carkey, a short version, please, sir. If you could tell us, who do you think is the G-Body champion for 2012? The white boy. Short and sweet, y'all. So I guess that question is all going to the white right boy. Here. All right, uh, another, next question for you guys. Do you think that the guys up north can compete with the guys down south in small tie racing? I guess we'll start with you, Mr. Slugfest. Uh... Hell no. Uh, hell no. And um, hell no. Them guys, look, first thing them damn Yankees going to do, they're going to holler off that you got to have a damn uh, $15,000 purse for them and, and a damn 20000 contingency. Those guys aren't going to race from up north. They're only going to race up north. Those guys are not coming down south because they know they're going to come down here and get their ass towed up. They, they are not coming down here. It's a known fact that Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina are two of the baddest damn small tie states in the world. Dave Hance is the only thing they got up there, and Dave Hance doesn't have a G-body anymore. I don't think, I don't think he have a G-body, but he's not going to come this way. He know he get his ass tore if you come down here. Stevie Jackson, get him out the witness protection plan. You know, get his ass down here on Dave ass. And I like Dave Handle, the short dude. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna ask the same question to Mr. Ronnie Brown. Mr. Ronnie Brown, do you think them guys up north can compete with these guys down south in small tie racing? Well, I'm gonna say you just uh, told him, Mike, in the Grudge World. 
the thing is, there's been a lot of shootouts. So if them guys up north think they was bad, they'll come get that money. They'll come get that money. And also in the shootouts, he ain't never said you can grudge in the shootout. So if they were that bad, they'll come. They had to pay for their gas in the shootout. So to me, my partner just told you the three baddest cities that own small ties. All year long, we've been proving that. If it ain't nobody out of Carolina, Georgia, or Florida, I don't see it. Well, you know, Gangsta Boo made a big difference this year, too, because he came out of Mississippi. We forgot about them. Hey, but but down. he put Mississippi on the map. Because we forgot about them. But he came from over there and did some hell of a shit this year. Now, I take my hat off to him and Joe and Travis. Because they did come over here. They they joined with Primetime and Willie Dog. And I tell you, they made a big difference. Starting in December of last year. December before last year. Not last year, but the, the one before. And them guys up north. Y'all might have some big tie guys that go fast, but that don't mean nothing. Prove it to me wrong. Come down here on them 29s or 28s, and then I I respect more. Okay. You, you know what? But I do want to see, though, seriously, all seriously, for this year, I want to see Eric with the four-door. <laughs> Come back. Gerald Coleman's car, I love that car. It's a car that's what you can call a work in progress. That car's gonna be, this car gonna be bad when they get it fixed. Check it out. Uh, Randy 10.5, the uh, G thing, that's a beautiful car. That car's working well. I don't know if he got it running on Dunkin' Donuts, coffee, or whatever the hell he run that shit on. Um, that shit is nice. I love that car. You got so many, and I hate to call names, but these are some of the guys that kind of stepped away from the game that I want to come back, just like the junk car. Great car. Those guys down at Cooper Performance with, uh, with uh, Tim, they've, they've done a great job with that car. The car's coming around well. Gold is car. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to like the Romeo car, you know, with Jamie and them. Those guys, you have to give those guys credit. They don't care how big a gun you have or how big a bat you have. You got to fight those guys, you know, and you got to give them respect. But I want to see all the smaller guys come back and shoot for this money. Not just the big guys. I want my small guys to come back and let's try to get this money. February 16th, no, hold, no holes barred, 28's gone wild. Anything can happen when a 28 go wild. Well, there it is. I, I know uh, of a couple guys up north that uh, really hadn't been on the scene uh, that I can throw a couple names out. And they won't. They won't. They probably won't. They probably won't. But I'm going to tell you, from what I've seen, they're going to be some hard guys to convince that they can't handle these guys on 28. Uh, with the keyboard, they're very fast. But at the racetrack, their first one, first one's off the trailer, first one's on the trailer. Biz. I'm going to say this, sir, right? I know February the 16th is a favor to the G-Bodies, but we do have a race coming up in May, May 4th. Okay. And it featured anybody on 28th. Don't matter what kind of car you got, if they think they bad, they got a lot of time to get ready. And we'll see how bad they is then. Well, there it is. B is set on kill. A couple of other you guys up from Detroit area. You got a uh, little Tony out. Uh, you know, it's a little bit different car there. But it, there's a couple of guys that's uh, up north. There's a couple of guys up north that uh, uh, Grudge Inc. is bringing out uh, that I think going to be something to be reckoned with.
if they that bad, they ain't gotta come get in no shootout. They can come down here and grab a man, and I guarantee you they go home with a soft ass. There it is, y'all. February the 16th, you boys up north need to come on down here and show these boys down south that you can compete because no respect. <laughs> all right. Snowstorms and all that, that's the first thing they go, oh, we can't get down there. We snowed in. Oh, we can't get down there. Oh, I couldn't plug my truck in. Oh. <laughs> well, there it is. We're going to see, y'all. Let me say this here, right. Because if I don't, I won't feel right tonight. I had a hard year. I had one man in my ear making sure everything that I do, I correct. Make sure I drop, drop my eyes, cross my T's. That's Mr. Willie Dog. Anytime he saw me doing anything wrong, he was the first man to pick up the phone and correct me and guide me through a lot of stuff. I won't I don't want to give him all the glory, but he is one of the eighty five percent of why Ronnie Brown got what he got. Because he always called me and correct me on a lot of things and then charge me. He come to help me, whatever I needed. My man Willie Dog. Always promote my race. Didn't matter what I was going through, what he he tell me, man, I got you. Just relax, I got you. And I respect that, you know, and I take my head off to him. Okay. I do too, because uh, Willie Dog is the only man I know that I call me, say, hey, Cocky, you the stupidest motherfucker I ever met. Uh, I got nothing but respect for Willie because Willie has always been right there with me. From the first races I threw, Willie and Tony Bynes, these guys, they were right there with me. They supported me. They told me everything I was doing wrong, even though Willie Dog tell me more than anybody, Cocky, you a stupid motherfucker. And uh, But he was always there to watch me be stupid, and if any way he could fix it, he did. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and, and Ronnie Brown, Willie Dog, Tony Bynes, and all the guys who supported Big Show Racing, Slugfish Productions, and supported Ronnie Brown. We want to thank all you guys. We hope you guys will uh, be good with us going together and come support us. We see you guys at the races. Thanks a lot. February 16, 2013, South Georgia Motorsports Park. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a Slugfest and a Ronnie Brown production. February the 16th, 2013 at South Georgia Motorsports Park is going down. And if you want to see some good grudge racing, there hasn't been a race that I've been to that Ronnie Brown has been associated or Slugfest been associated with that wasn't one barn, barn, barn burner. So don't miss it. I'm going to do my part. Me is Slugfest, big show. Whatever I do, I try to give everybody a good show. Make sure everything is good to go. They let me run it, got together to do this thing for 2013 at the same damn time. At what now? Same damn time. There you heard it, y'all, at the same damn time. So, see y'all. February the 16th, and we out.